In this chapter, we want to focus on getting our sites off our local computer and onto a web server somewhere, so someone on the internet can find your content. Now, before we talk about how we can configure Dreamweaver to communicate to a web server, I want to show you some things that you should consider doing before you upload your files. You just want to double check your work and you want to make sure that everything is working as it should. And there's some tools inside of Dreamweaver that can help kind of aid you in that process of making sure that everything is operational. One thing that you can do is run some reports and that command is available under the site menu. Under the site menu, you can choose reports and this will open up a dialog box. Now in this dialog box, you have a couple different options. Notice in this drop down menu, you can report on the current document, which in this case is index.html, the entire current local site, which in this case is the dope trope site that we set up earlier, selected files in the site. So you could come over here and select some files in the files panel and then choose this option. Or you can point this dialog box to a folder. For our purposes, we're going to check the entire current local site. Now in terms of the workflow section, we really haven't set up some of these options inside the site definition dialog box, but we will look at these options and one of the options is having the ability to check in and check out files if you're working with a team of designers and developers. What this does is ensure that you don't work on a file that someone else is working on. You don't want to override one another's work. So you can run a report to check for checked out files. But we don't have that implemented, so this option doesn't make a lot of sense, nor to design notes and recently modified. But if we take a look at the HTML reports, one thing that we can check for is untitled documents. This one option alone is worth coming into this dialog box. Remember, when you create a new document inside of Dreamweaver, by default, it gives it a name of untitled document. And if you have a deadline or if you're rushing around, you may forget to change that. And you don't want that small detail to slip through the cracks. So Dreamweaver can check all your pages for a title that reads untitled document. Something else that you can do is check for missing alt text. Now, this option doesn't work all that well if you built the page in Dreamweaver like we did in the last chapter. And the reason for that is Dreamweaver knows that images need alt text. So it immediately adds the alt attribute to the image element. The problem with that is this option here checks for the alt attribute. You can have an alt attribute with an empty string, meaning the alt attribute really doesn't have a value. So the problem with this is it's not checking to see if the alt attribute has text. It's just checking to see if the alt attribute exists. And because we inserted our images through the Dreamweaver insert image command, it has that alt attribute. But if you remember, in the last chapter, we didn't add the alt text. So we're really not going to get the information that we need from this option. But I will check it anyway. And once you're happy with all the options that you select, you can go ahead and click Run. Once you click Run, a report will be revealed in the Site Reports panel. And here we can see the floats.html page has a title of Untitled Document. Now what's nice about this panel is if you double click this, it brings you to that page and more specifically, it brings you to that problem area. So here, I can come over here and change the title. And once I save the document, if I wanted to run the report again, I'll come over here and choose Untitled Documents. When I run the report, you'll notice it doesn't appear again. So as you can see, it's incredibly helpful. But again, if we come back to the index page and select one of the images, and go into the split view, we can see that we do have that alt attribute, but it's an empty string. So unfortunately, the reports command doesn't detect this. If I remove this attribute, so if you inserted the image in some other way, maybe you did it by hand, and I save the document, and I come back to the site menu, and I choose reports, and this time I choose missing alt text, and I click run. Once I click run, you'll notice it does find that, if you double click it, it'll bring you to that image element. So don't rely on that completely. And you want to make sure anytime you add an image into your HTML documents, you do in fact add the alt text. So I'll go ahead and call this dope trope. 
Alt text is important. It's important for search engines and it's also important for screen readers. Anyone that uses some type of assistive device, they get information about images really through the alt attribute. So again, the reports command can help you find small details that slip through the crack throughout your development process and you can easily fix those problems before you upload your site.